Well, this is new. literally 30 seconds after I ended the first episode. It was literally three and a half minutes ago. This popped up, but take over. Uh, okay, as long as the new owner is going to come in and, and give us some money and help stabilize things, I am all on board with that. So the one thing I did want to do was okay, Second League West. Rules. He promoted the First League. First League rules are... When you get to the Euro Cup call, okay, you finished top four in the first league. You get to Euro Cup two qualifying rounds, except for the first place team. They get European Cup Champions Path first qualifying rounds. So Champions Cup, let me check this out here real quick. Champions Cup first qualifying, first qualifying round. Champions Cup. First qualifying round, second qualifying round, third qualifying round, playoff. No, okay, so we're, um, Legia. They're the team to follow. So first qualifying round. Okay, you know what? We can just do this. First qualifying round, second qualifying round, third qualifying round, playoff. Red Star, Slavia, Prague. Rangers and Dynamo. So then we go into league path. Our group stage. All groups. Yep, Slavic Prague. Okay, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. So today it is the Macedonian Cup first round match. We're playing Kozu, and they are not a good squad. As a matter of fact, that came up in the scouting report. These guys are not good, They're as good as us. So, you know, but that just means if we don't take them seriously, they can surprise us. We're going to go here, and we are going to see who the coach advocates we pick. And we're going to go through and be like, no, not him, not him, not him. Now, the obvious first choice is Nanad Moskovsky at 84%. We replace him with Ivan Masevsky. I'm okay with that. The next one, Darko Masevsky. Philip Andowski is, we'll take a look at him in just a minute, because what I need to do is move Darko Masevsky up to take over the goalkeeper spot there. And then we want Aaron Patalko to come in and take the Kowski spot. Now, Gos Josef is my young keeper. He has a lot of potential. And if I compare him to Philip Gusevsky, he's got a ways to go. But speed-wise, they're pretty good. Mentally, they're close. Communications-wise, they're close. If he gets playing time, and he will get playing time, just not a lot this season, at least, anyways. At 17 years old, it's going to be almost all of you squad. It should be almost all of you squad, I should say. Um, he, he'll definitely improve. And everybody's okay. So, who's at 90% here? Oliver Piev. I don't know. Talco is my only backup there, and he's at 24%. So, and I want to try to avoid starting 16 year olds as long as I can because I don't want to stunt their growth or get them injured or something like that. So, we have Kasevskin goal. Lysik, Stevanov, Masevsky, and Ritsecki as the defensive back four, and Dovsky as the ball-winning midfielder. He is my 19-year-old. He has a ton of potential. Uh, really, his stamina and strength are improving. His physicals could be a little bit better, but like I said, 19 years old. He should get, he should get better. Mentally, he's okay. The four composure I'm not a fan of. Um, other than that, he's pretty high for his age in most areas. I love the 15 aggression. The eight concentration is a little bit of, uh, on the low side for his position, but we can work on that. Seven marking, 13 tackling is not great. Neither is his uh, seven passing. His 10 first touch is adequate, but yeah, it, 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 he's a work in progress. He has potential. Whether or not he can see that through remains to be seen. Uh, Blasevsky is the Mazal at Piev, is the deep line player in midfield. Rina Iseni, who is my young Albanian player, is at one wing. Uh, Dejan Blasevsky is at the other wing. And then we have Petkovsky up top as the striker. Again, not the best. Do I have a. Who do I have that could replace him? Grosdan Grosdanowski, I would have replaced him, but he is out injured. We've got Vildan Karim. You know what? Let's take a look at him and compare him to Karim. Karim's younger, not by much. Well, it's what we have to work with, so we're going to work with it. 
Um, it's a 4-3-3 positive, tactically much shorter passing, work the ball in the box, slightly higher tempo. We just counter in the transition, uh, force the opposition a high, higher defensive line, higher line of engagement. I really don't want to go all in on the, uh, hey, get him pressed, do this, do that, do this, just simply because my players aren't good enough for it. Uh, do we have position instructions? Nope. Nope. Wisik to Piev. And Dovsky back to Piev. All the way back to Masevsky. Masevsky holds it up. Stojanovic, Dandowski. Nice little side foot pass. Glissik, Pazevsky. Oh, and a nice save by the... By the keeper. And Masevsky misses the header. Pozo. That's the team's name. Pozo. Quiet first half. Just those two highlights. We're coming up on halftime. That is mildly annoying. They're sitting, is it me or are they sitting kind of narrow? All their players are within the line of the 22-yard box. So if we go to the dressing room and we give them a pep talk. And then we go to the tactics. If we change our width to wide. Seki is not having a good match. You know what? 61 minutes in. Good grief. We're going to go to the attacking, and we're going to make a couple of changes here. Oh, did I mess something up? If I go... I mess something up within the skin. Ten minutes. Nikov. Headed down, Todorov misses it, Vodic, back and forth, Piev, Lasevsky breaks through, and he scores his third goal of the season. That was nice. Shot was maybe a bit on the ambitious side, but it definitely worked. And Dovsky headed it down to Vodic. He got it back. Piev just knocked it forward into space. Lasevsky blew by his defender. Oh, the keeper just, from a graphical point of view, the keeper just half-assed it. Nikov bombs it forward. Velkovsky knocked away. Asini drops it off back to Glissik. To Asini. Glissik. Vodic heads it forward, but it ends up right at Nikov's foot. He holds the ball up. Sends it forward into the crowd. Knocked down. Vlasevsky. Back to Masevsky. And Dovsky. Out to Asini. Oh, up in space. Vodic was way off sides, though. He had to have been offside. Okay, I guess he wasn't offside. What the hell do I know? Lisevsky knocked away. Lisek unthrown. Stoyanov. Gandowski or Piev. Lisevsky. Or Piev. Gandowski back and forth. Lisevsky bombs it forward. Petrov knocks it down. Yassini picks it up. I'm not quite sure why Yassini's uniform is different than everybody else's. And Dovsky again up into space. Plasevsky, nice first touch. Cross centers it in, knocked away. Petrov just bombs it forward. Soyanovich picks up the ball. Gets the ball to Glissik. Yassini. Glissik to Piev. Yassini back to Piev. Takes the shot. Oh, wow. That was a nice goal from the 35-year-old captain of the squad. Let's see this. I have no idea why Asini's uniform is different than everybody else's. That's still a very nice goal by Piaf. And that is full time. If you can call 17 shots, 7 on target, and actually 1.65, eking out a victory, we eked out a victory against Kaza. For the first 60 minutes there, it was really touch and go. But I'm not going to bag on the guys about it because, you know, what, what good is that going to do, especially when we have another game in like three days? So we have January off and most of February off. Because of that, we're playing a very, very busy schedule these first couple of months. We'll take a look at that here. Come back with that game here in just a second. We'll see who we're playing, though, first. Yeah, so this is our game today. And literally in three days against Bosco Sport, we have another match. And 
trading wise, I'm really not doing much. Some set piece stuff, match reviews, match previews, things like that. Keep the guys healthy. And we will be back with that. Well, you know what? Let's see who we're playing in the uh, eighth round here. Okay. Slaga is playing Vasca. Kevis is playing us. Academica Panda is playing Struga. Tedex is Rubiniki. Silex is Velasquica. Agadonia. Pick us. They're a first league squad. They're a very good first league squad. Okay, we got our work cut out for us. We got Vasca Sport coming up here in a minute. We'll be back with that in just a bit. Well, this is a little hard because the under-18s also had a game today. So a couple of guys I was looking at starting, I can't. We'll bring Stoyevsky up. Yeah, but I don't want to start. Rostanovsky, I don't want to start. Shabanov, I want to bring up and replace Todorov. Well, I am not the biggest fan of it, but we're going to have to take our chances. We have uh, uh, Gusevsky in goal, Glishik, Stoyanov, Miskovsky, and Ritsecki as the defensive back forward. Misevsky is the ball-winning midfielder at the defensive midfield position. Glazevsky as a Mazala. Partalko is a deep-line playmaker. Uh, normally he is a winger, but he's the best available center mid I have. Uh, Volkovsky as a winger. Glazevsky is the winger. And then Petkovsky up top as the striker. Not everybody's 100% match fit. They're more like low 90s, high 80s. You now it is what it is. We have to do what we can. A big empty stadium. Careful, knocked away by Petoski. Petkovsky, rather. He's going to run it down. Get it to Glissick. Ritsecki. Bukowski. Blavetsky. Oh, nice shot, but it's wide right. Only 1,800 people in attendance. Massini, Chikomansky, Maseski, Defeta, Gafuri, Ataveljanovsky, Masevsky, Muri. Oh, Feta, Mini. Turns around, goes out wide. Oh, off the post. And a good save by Ritsecki to get the ball out of bounds. That is going to be a Vasca corner kick. Kafuri sends it in. Gusevsky the save. Glissick clears it. And the highlight ends. That was a hell of a place to end a highlight. Come on. Penalty kick from distance. Free kick from distance, rather. Amini, back to Feta. Massini. Demiri. It's got to be a display thing. And the ball gets pushed high right because they have a player on their squad whose uniform doesn't look correct either. Lozowski sends it in. Miskowski's there for the header. His fourth of the season. All on set pieces. All exactly like that. He just comes up on the near post. Plus, we do tend to train with a lot of set pieces. Ball's bombed away. Knocked down. Blasevsky's there. Palko. Misetki. Palko. Misetki. Back to Misovsky. Palko. Blasevsky. Up into space. Pitkovsky's there. Off the post. Not exactly a wide open shot. Kofsky wants to come off. Play some with Olevsky. Okay. Well, what we're going to get Blazevsky off and bring on Piev. 25 minutes in, Piev. Pilevsky crosses it in, but Kofsky can't get to it. Suzanovsky, a very nice save on the ball. 
Not that it would have gone in, but it was still a nice save. So Yanov heads the ball down to Masevsky. Talko up into space. Pekovsky can't get there. Sini sends it back to the keeper. He just bombs it forward. Miskovsky holds it up. Masevsky. Talko centers it. Masevsky. PF broke through. And he couldn't get around the keeper. Glissick on the throw in. Glissevsky. Back to Glissick. Masevsky. Ritsecki. I don't know why he back healed that, but okay. Pekovsky up in space. Pekovsky's there. His second goal of the season. Uh, thanks to an anonymous Pekovsky header in the 43rd minute, we win 1-0. And thus far this season, we are not doing too badly. I wish we would get more home fans. That will come as we win more. We were complacent out there. That game really could have gone the other way. Five to eight days, two to three days. Pekovsky. Pretty much comfortable. We're going to come back for Tickfest. And depending on who is the better team, either Besa or Silex. Probably. Uh, both not doing good at the moment. Silex has only drawn one and Besa has lost all three of theirs. So. Off to a nice start. Can we maintain it? I think we can. Can we win the league this year? I think we can. Can we stay up next year? I think we can. It's going to take us a while to get right back to the top, especially since we're using all homegrown talent. I got the scouts out searching for players. I'll bring in as many free agents as I can and see how they are. We'll do the massive trial thing. You bring in 10, 15 players at a time on trial, sign the ones that look promising to low, low contracts, so we're not going to lose a ton of money. The one thing in our favor is we had a transfer budget, and I didn't need it. Because there weren't any good Macedonian players out there available for transfer. So I was able to take it down. And now we're 900 pounds under the payroll budget. And that gives us a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the save. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do with the squad. And seeing how far we can take them. The plan right now is at the beginning of the season, we'll take a snapshot of the club. At the midpoint of the season, we'll take a snapshot of the club. So probably sometime in November. and then. Probably in April, we'll take a third snapshot of the club. We don't want to take one at the end of May because we're just going to turn around and take another snapshot six or eight weeks later at the beginning of the next season. We want to see if there's any improvement. So maybe in March, we'll see. And then we'll compare that. We'll spend it. We'll spend part of an episode every once in a while going over the numbers, discussing training, seeing how things can improve, what I can be doing better to bring the squad uh, up in terms of improving their attributes and things like that. Um, it's, it's a different sort of challenge for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. So a couple of good wins for us today. The, the second one was a bit lackadaisical, but we overcame that. And, well, frankly, we got a little bit lucky. We just need some more home crew. We, we need a bigger home crew, too. we got a 36,000 seat stadium. We need to fill it up. So, and it is a beautiful stadium. We look it. It's very nice. So, and you do them proud. So if you did like what you've seen out there, please give a like. Subscribe to the channel. Questions, quizzes, and comments. Leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is Ethan Jolico. Thank you for watching.